Sunland Apple, IPTV Entertainment. Perfected Faces The Best Makeup Artist Candy 242395125. Demons Deceive. So what's going on? I'm tired. I'm tired of giving my all and never being enough. I'm tired of changing for people who don't even recognize my change. I'm tired of crying myself to sleep at night and waking up in the morning and not recognizing myself. I'm tired of not being thin enough or pretty enough. I'm tired of not being enough. The Lord woke me up early this morning and when I got up, I just started praying. I just started praying for people. But the Lord put on me. You don't think you have demons? That's a lie from the pits of hell. Because if you are a Christian, demons love to attack you more than anybody else. First and foremost, because if a demon can jump on you, control you, take over you, you will then start to fight against other Christians. You will start to fight against other believers. See, it only takes one seed to get into your head, one seed of doubt. All you need is doubt. Let me tell you, demons deceive. If you do not believe the honest to God truth, you have a demon. Demons deceive. It says so in 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 2, it says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. Yes, you are being deceived by demons. Don't think you have demons? That's a lie. It's hard not to hate people, things, institutions, when they break your spirit and take pleasure in watching you bleed. Hate is the only feeling that makes sense. But I know what hate does to a man. It tears him apart, it turns him into something he's not, something he promised himself he'd never become. That's what I need to tell you, to let you know how hard I'm trying not to cave under the weight of all the awful things I feel in my heart. Sometimes my life feels like a deadly balancing act. What I feel slamming up against what I should do. Impulsive reactions racing to solutions miles ahead of my brain. They, we knew that a race of people was going into captivity. We knew that thing. It was no confusion. Huh? Say it on the mic. When you look to the top, you see their daddy Satan. That's when when you read Revelation, it says um the devil and Satan. It's talking about Esau and the spiritual demon that is born to him. That's that's who the angel Michael is standing on standing up on right there. So we had as wicked as these was back then. We had some of this. Today we have lost it. Happy, we have lost it all. So how do you know if a dream is from the Lord or and the Holy Spirit or if it's from a demon coming to sow covenant? Okay, because demons can give you a good dream or like what looks like a prophecy or a promise. But then in that prophecy, in that promise, it is there's demonic covenants that they're sowing. So there are times when you confuse, Lord, is that a dream from you that this is going to happen? Or is it something that, you know, there are times. But to be sure, to be sure, I will advise you to do this. When you wake up from such a dream where you're not clear if it's from the Lord or from uh, the kingdom of darkness, say this, Heavenly Father, if that dream is for you, from you, I accept it in the name of Jesus. If that dream is from the kingdom of darkness or if those are demons as masquerading spirits, I cancel it, I renounce it, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Again, you guys have been deceived, man. Um, most of y'all get your teaching from Deliverance Ministries. And Deliverance Ministries go off the book. The, the Bible makes it very clear, very clear, that we're born 
again, not of the corruptible seed, but by the incorruptible seed, by the word of God. Listen, I used to be under a deliverance ministry and the Lord delivered me <laughs> from a deliverance ministry. There are some levels of truth, but most of them are lies. I'm telling you, I assure you. Unfortunately, what you guys do not realize, you have not learned and you're not taught is that your flesh has life. The scripture is very clear that the flesh is against the spirit and the spirit is against the flesh. One that is born again by the Holy Ghost, he comes in the body and meshes himself with your spirit. He comes in the body and meshes himself with your spirit. There's no teaching biblically at all that a demon and the Holy Ghost is in the same vessel, is in the same body, and but different compartments. That is man's doctrine, not the doctrine of Christ. And as I said in my last video, the Bible says that Christ died for the whole man. And if Christ died for the whole man, how come you can't comprehend that? If Jesus shed his blood and purchased you, all of you, with his own blood, how is it a part of you belongs to demon deities? That is stupid and that is dumb. That is not biblical <laughs> at all. That is man's doctrine. That is doctrines of devils, not the doctrine of God, Christ who saved us and delivered us from sin death and hell though we're still in the presence of sin the bible says that he has purged us from our old sins wherefore the rather brother give diligence make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you shall never fall listen if, if you want to just pass around demons and be all up in that stuff demonic stuff then go right ahead but under christ and in christ and in the teaching of christ the bible says whomever christ has made free we are free indeed. We belong to him. We are his disciples and we are hit the, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So if you want to be possessed, you go right ahead. But us over here, we're going to serve the Lord. All right. You want to believe in lies and hypocrisies? Go right ahead. I pray the Lord convicts you of sin and really cause you to be born again. But as far as me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Hasta mañana. Or kill them. I dealt with a woman once, this is a remarkable situation, 72 different demons came out of her. She was a respectable woman, she was a registered nurse. She was charismatic, Pentecostal, but she had 72 demons. I didn't count them, but there was a woman making a little note of the names. And in the middle of this, it lasted five hours, she said, oh, I'm so tired, I can't go on, I can't take any more. And I thought, well, poor woman, she really is tired. And then the Lord showed me, that's not the woman, that's the demon. I said, you spirit of tiredness, come out of this woman. And it said, not the woman, it said, that's right, she's always tired. She's tired when she gets up, she's tired when she's going to bed. She's too tired to read the Bible, too tired to pray. When that spirit of tiredness came out of her, she was no longer tired. We finished the deliverance. Demons make you go to sleep. There's a spirit of slumber, it's referred to both in the Old and the New Testament. Have you ever considered that you can sit up till 2 a.m. watching something that you probably shouldn't be watching on the television, but if you decide to read your Bible, you go to sleep in 10 minutes? Is that right? That's not natural. There's something there that doesn't mind your watching television, in fact, probably wants you to watch it, but does mind your reading the Bible or praying. All right, those are some activities of demons. Now, the main areas in which they operate. I have to give this in a very condensed form, you understand? I'm writing a book about it. Please pray for me. <laughs> it's not an easy book to write. I discovered about 10 different kinds of spirits or demons mentioned in the Old Testament and about 20 in the New, that's 30. But that's just a little sampling. There are hundreds of different kinds of demons. The main area that they affect, I believe, is mo emotions and attitudes. And behind every negative emotion and attitude, there is a corresponding demon. 
That doesn't mean you've got the demon, but that means that the demon's there trying to get you. For instance, you can get angry, and it's not a demon. It's just you. It's your flesh. But if you get angry and can't control yourself, and get angry when you don't want to get angry, that's a demon. Let me give you a list of some of the commonest names that I've dealt with. And another thing about demons is they operate in gangs. When one gets in, it opens the door for the next. And if you find certain demons, you can always look for their friends. Let's take one. Pride, rebellion. Rebellion almost always follows pride. And then witchcraft or the occult. Because 1 Samuel 15 verse 23 says, Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Wherever you find rebellion, look for witchcraft. The great historical example of this is the young people of the United States in the 1960s. Almost a whole generation went into rebellion. And almost every one of them ended in the occult. Because rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Now I thank God I saw scores of them gloriously saved and delivered. But I learned the lesson. Then one of the commonest spirits is the spirit of fear. Paul says God has not given us a spirit of fear. So it doesn't come from God. But fear is something that we easily, all of us, give way to. And it's followed by other things like rejection. One of the commonest emotional problems in the church and in the world today is rejection. It's a sense of feeling unworthy, unwanted. Nobody really loves me. I'm on the outside looking in. And I would say in my observation, at least 20% of professing Christians today that I've met with need deliverance from rejection. It's really due to the breakup of the family. Because the thing that gives a child the sense of security is the love and the care of a father. And where that is missing, there's something that cries out. I don't know who I am. I don't feel secure. I don't know that people really love me. I want to tell you one thing. Jesus really loves you. But the devil will do his best to convince you it's true of everybody else but not you. So we all know Beyonce as the queen of pop, a.k.a. Sasha Fierce. Sasha Fierce is kind of my alter ego on the stage. So the conspiracy is, Sasha Fierce is actually a demon that Beyonce let take over her body while she performs. And the Beyonce that we see performing on stage isn't even the real Beyonce. When they meet me and they speak with me, they're expecting Sasha. I'm really kind of shy, and not really shy, but more reserved. Nothing like Sasha. Sasha is a separate entity that takes over Beyonce while she performs and does things that Beyonce herself can't even remember. At the 2013 Super Bowl, we see Beyonce, or we'll call her Sasha for now, throw up an occultic symbol. Now Beyonce claims she was only paying homage to her husband's clothing line. But the origins of this sign come from Satanist groups who worship the devil. The 2013 Super Bowl, all of Beyonce's backup dancers had pentagrams worked into their outfit. As well as Beyonce herself having the head of Baphomet. As makeup artist Candy. Spontaneity is magic. Imperfection is beauty. Flaws are underrated. Beauty is so subjective. The most beautiful things in life are simple yet wholesome. The idea of beauty, I believe, got eroded gradually. Thanks to media and pop culture, what was once beautiful is now called shabby minus. Unkempt hair, freckled face, fat thighs, hairy legs and armpits, stretch marks and cellulite. When the models on the billboards and magazines are just like you and I, behind those numerous filters, we deem to be perfect. Perfected faces make up artist Candy come see.
Well, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, yeah. I miss the sight of your, your beautiful smile. I miss the feeling of your skin touching mine. I can't wait till Friday night. I'll be. Going to your place 